Hello, Turbo Girl. We are going to learn about conjunctions for this lesson. When we need to join two things together, we use glue. In English, when we need to join ideas or sentences together, we need to use glue too. But we do not use this type of glue. Instead, we use conjunctions. Let's call conjunctions linking words. For today's lesson, we will be learning four types of conjunctions or linking words that are used to show purpose. Purpose means the reason behind why we want something to happen. The linking words are to, in order to, so as to, and so that. Let's look at an example in one. Oxford switched on the lights. Oxford looked for a magazine. The first sentence tells us what happened. Oxford switched on the lights. The second sentence, Oxford looked for a magazine, tells us why or the purpose of Oxford switching on the lights in the first sentence. So we can use the linking word to, which shows purpose, to join these two sentences. We need four steps to join the sentences. Step 1. Put the linking word, for example, to, in between the two sentences. Step 2. If the subjects in the two sentences are the same, remove the subject of the second sentence. If the subjects are different, keep both subjects. Step 3. Remove the full stop at the end of the first sentence. Step 4. Check that the joint sentence is in the correct tense. We must remove the ed behind looked. This is because verbs after to must be in the root form. That means that the verbs do not have ed behind them. So, the joint sentence for 1 is 1a. Oxford switched on the lights to look for a magazine. The linking words in order to and so as to are used in the same way as the linking word to. So we have 1b. Oxford switched on the lights in order to look for a magazine. When we use the linking word so as to, the sentence becomes 1c. Oxford switched on the lights so as to look for a magazine. When the subjects of the two sentences refer to two different people, we cannot remove the second subject. Let's look at the sentences in two. Mrs. Alley switched on the lights. Oxford looked for a magazine. The subject of the first sentence is Mrs. Alley, while the subject of the second sentence is Oxford. Since Mrs. Alley and Oxford are referring to two different people, we cannot erase the second subject, Oxford. In addition, we must add the word let after the word to, so we have to. Mrs. Alley switched on the lights to let Oxford look for a magazine. Let's now look at the conjunction or linking word so that. So that is different from to, in order to, and so as to. When we use the conjunction so that, we must add a suitable modal, for example, could, after the second subject. So we have 1D. Oxford switched on the lights so that Oxford could look for a magazine. In addition, if the two subjects are referring to the same person, change the second subject to a suitable pronoun. So we change the second subject, Oxford, to the pronoun he. So we have 1D. Oxford switched on the lights so that he could look for a magazine. Turbo Girl, can you remember what we have learned today? Yes, we have learned four types of conjunctions or linking words that are used to show purpose. 
The linking words are to, in order to, so as to, and so that. The linking words to, in order to, and so as to are used in the same way. Here are the steps to join the sentences in one using the linking word to. 1. Oxford switched on the lights. Oxford looked for a magazine. Put the linking word to in between the two sentences. Remove the second subject since both the subjects refer to the same person, Oxford. Next, remove the first full stop. And finally, check the tense and remove the ed in the verb looked. So we have 1b. Oxford switched on the lights to look for a magazine. If the subjects refer to two different people, then we cannot remove the second subject. In addition, we must add the word let after two. Let's look at the sentences in two. Mrs. Ellie switched on the lights. Oxford looked for a magazine. So we have Mrs. Ellie switched on the lights to let Oxford look for a magazine. So that is different from the other linking words. When we use the conjunction so that, we add a suitable modal, for example, could, after the second subject, and change the second subject to a suitable pronoun. So we have 1D. Oxford switched on the lights so that he could look for a magazine. Good work, Tobogol.